Since we posted our original video chat safety guide for kids, Google switched up their platform. We already told you how to make video chat safer for your kids on Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Hangouts in our kids' internet safety video. But with the release of Google Meet, we wanted to make sure you knew the best ways to protect your kids on that video conferencing service as well. One of the things we like best about Google Meet is all of their built-in security features. Google really doubled down in this area, so nearly all security and privacy settings are already in place by default. That means Google is looking out for your kiddos before you even need to think about laying on the parental controls. That's pretty cool. Here are some of our favorite built-in Google Meet security features. First off, Google Meet is FERPA compliant, which means that no identifying information about your child is accessible to anyone but the teacher and any other administration that has access. All meeting codes are 10 characters long. This makes it harder for hackers to guess the meeting ID and bomb the meeting by gaining access or taking over control. Any participants that aren't part of the host organization that set up the meeting are going to have limits on when they can join a meeting, how they can request to join a meeting, and whether or not they can get back in after the teacher or other host has left. And only the teacher or meeting creator can mute or remove other participants. So a bad actor won't be able to boot the teacher out of class or take over the audio. And best of all, every bit of data in Google Meet is encrypted. A new encryption key is created for every meeting, and it only lasts for as long as the meeting was scheduled. And encryption codes are never stored to disk or backup, and they aren't transmitted in any way. Just because Google Meet has a pretty robust built-in suite of security features, it doesn't mean you can neglect other safe online practices. So no matter what video chat app your child is using, keep these safe practices in mind. Try to use an avatar instead of an actual photo of your child if something like that is required by their teacher. Don't give permission for your child to be recorded during any meeting. Never let your kiddo participate in private chats and make sure that you are supervising all of their online activities, even if your child is in class with their teacher. It looks like online learning is here to stay, so make sure your kids are as safe as possible during their online classes and other video chats. And don't forget to check out our other kids' safety videos to find out how to add parental controls to Zoom and Microsoft Teams. But before you go, like this video and subscribe to our channel. That way you can stay up to date on all of our new videos and product reviews that are uploaded every single week. Stay safe.